Hello everyone, my name is Deshaun, and I'm here to give you my review of the Titans trailer for the di for the um, DC Screaming Online service. DC has the Screaming Online service coming out. It's coming out this year. I can't remember when, but it's coming out this year. And um, it has a couple shows. It has a show called Doom Patrol. It has Swamp Thing. I believe it has a Harley Quinn show. But I think it's an animated Harley Quinn show. I can't, re can't recall off the top of my head. And it has this Titan show. And the Titan show is kind of the flagship show. It's the Daredevil, the arrow of this world. It's the, the show that kind of you'll build the rest of this shit out from. The trailer was terrible. I hated this trailer. Oh my fucking God. What did they do to the Teen Titans? First of all, they made it this... This isn't just rated R. This is rated um, a TVMA. Which, usually something that's rated TM, you know, TVMA, we're talking like the dark of the dark shit. We're talking about shit on HBO kind of shit. We're talking about like Game of Thrones, like level of dark shit. We're the, that dark. This shit is darker than the actual DCEU dark shit when it's got ratings like that. And it made me go think to my, I'm like, bruh, this is the Teen Titans. What the fuck are you doing? Robin is this sad, like, Robin's always been, but Robin's this sad, depressed guy who is just like, first of all, this version of Robin is like 21 or something like that. That's what he looks like. He's like 22 or 21. He's not a kid at all. And he like, it looks like he works at like a shelter or something. He hates Batman because like the thing that's getting a lot of clickbait right now is fuck Batman. Yes. All of a sudden, like, Robin seems like he's been out of the game or something, and then he comes back to it, and out of the blue, he just, like, he's fighting these guys. And it was a cool action sequence. I like the act, the way the actor looks. I like this outfit. I like the way he looks. He looks like Robin. Then out of the blue, and the fight scene, the fight scenes were cool. That that fight scene with Robin, and the fight scene with Hawk and Dove, to be fair, and the Hawk and Dove outfits are cool, too, are cool. It's, like, literally... Parts of this trailer are really cool. The Robin stuff is cool. And the Hawk and Dove stuff is cool. Everything else is fucking terrible. Starfire looks like a fucking hooker in that outfit. I don't get why they didn't cast a Latino actress because that would have just been per because I know, I know, I know, I uh, blah blah blah. Whatever. But Starfire looks Latina. If you've ever seen her in an animated movie, even in even even look at Play Injustice Two, they shape her after a Latina girl because that's how Starfire kind of just looks. She's orange skin with long, luscious, um, red hair, and she does, and, dude, first of all, they got that right, her look is totally off, not only is her look off, but she doesn't even shoot green energy blast, Starfire shoots green energy blast, she doesn't shoot this, she just shot fire out of her hands, I was like, what the fuck is this, Beast Boy, to me, from what it looks like, they didn't show him changing, but what it looks like to me is, Beast Boy has green hair, and he only turns green when he changes. Otherwise, he's just a normal-looking dude with green hair. The girl playing Raven, it looks like they're kind of playing this like angsty kind of teenager thing up, which is which is right out, which is true out of the comics. But I just don't buy the girl who's playing Raven. I don't. Um, she just looks too. What's the word? Innocent. And Raven in the comics, and in the comics and in the animated series, she all like she never looked innocent. She kind of wrote that she looked like a goth chick. She looked like a goth chick who was over this shit. Who I'm telling, I'm done with this shit. Because Raven was always sort of the big sister of the group. She was always the one of reason, the one to be like, don't do that, don't do that, don't do that. That's stupid. That's stupid. And that's stupid. Like she was the Gamora of the group. That's why. Like, that's the thing, though. The Teen Titans in the comics and in the animated series were more like the Guardians of the Galaxy. They weren't this dark. They're making this like Watchmen. They're like, we the Teen Titans grew up in the world of Watchmen. And that's just not the Teen Titans. There's no cyborg. I, th there's no cyborg in this, which is already alarming to me. Because I'm like, well, who the fuck you were? Like, why cyborg? And like, dude, I don't know what the fuck they're doing with this. They're playing this dark emo angsty shit over it. It, it. it looked like a fan film. It did. It looked like a fan film. And honestly, I have never been so unhyped for a fucking trailer in my life. <laughs> and I was sort of kind of... I was... You know, I, I wasn't hyped for this idea anyways because I saw where they were going with this. I thought... I was like, okay, maybe they're not going to go that far. I thought, okay, worst case scenario, they're going to go like Flash Dark. Where it's dark... 
but they're still fun in the background because that's the Teen Titans. They're kids who are learning their abilities and having fun because they're younger and they don't understand the, you know, you know, and they haven't, they're growing into being able to understand how difficult it is when they get older. But as te- as the Teen Titans, they're fun loving. They're, they're, they're funny. They're a group of kids that you relate to. Like they're supposed to be like the guardians of that world. Like that's, a, that's what distinguishes the Teen Titans from the other groups in the DC universe. Because all the other groups are dark and depressing sometimes, at times. Like, the Justice League can be dark and depressing, the Birds of Prey can. I mean, most of the other groups can be that. But the Teen Titans were always the fun group. They were the kids group. They were the group for people who didn't feel like dealing with that kind of shit. They just wanted to have fun with a group that takes place in the DC universe. And that's what the Teen Titans represented for me. I love that original Teen Titans cartoon. I've even... I've even I even went from hating Teen Titans Go to mildly to mildly kind of sort of disliking it. Like that's how I've gone from Teen Titans Go just because I love that group. I love their chemistry. I love the the way they are. It's a different vibe in DC and they're ruining it by making it this dark depressing bullshit. What is fucking with DC in this dark depressing bullshit? You have to pick and choose where to use that shit for. It makes sense to use something dark and depressing for Watchmen, Batman, even The Question, maybe a Huntress film if you did that. Even if you wanted to go that way with Green Arrow, I can understand the angle you're taking. But the Titans aren't that. That's not who they are. I don't know why you're taking it in that direction. I don't know why you're so hesitant. And this is what pissing me off so far about the DC. They are so fucking hesitant to make child superheroes because of all the criticisms they've gotten over the years of you're putting these kids in danger that like they won't do it like there is no fucking reason that this shouldn't be a younger robin a 17 year old or 16 year old robin while all these characters shouldn't be young like 16 and 17 year old versions of themselves why they shouldn't be the teen titans actual fucking teenagers because they look all like they're about 20 something like they're all like in their mid-20s and there's no fucking reason they shouldn't be kids i don't understand what they're scared of fucking marvel just proved you can do it with spider-man being a 15 year old in spider-man homecoming and wrapping an entire movie around him i don't know why they're hesitant granted they're making shazam so they're making baby steps towards that but shazam but but the difference is shazam is a man his power is turning into a man so it's kind of a work around it you know what i mean they're hesitant to go there because i feel like they're scared of what the backlash of what people outside of fandom would think of it but man I'm not liking this trailer. I didn't like it one bit. I wasn't looking forward to this very much anyways, but I figured they'd, they'd have a free subscription, you know, like most things have when you when they first open up so I could just, like, get that free subscription, kick it off, you know, watch it, you know, watch the first few episodes of it. Maybe if it's, like, the f- subscriptions is, like, a few weeks, watch a few, or a month subscription, watch an episode or three, watch a few episodes, maybe it proves me wrong, but this trailer really fucking kicked me in the balls, guys, I really didn't like it, I didn't like it one bit, I, I literally liked three aspects of the trailer, and I know that Cloak and, I, you know Cloak and, uh, oh, you're not Cloak and Dagger, um, you know, um, Hawk and Dove aren't gonna be in this shit very long, and they made them super bro, it looks like Watchmen, why does the Teen Titans look like Watchmen, what the fuck? That'd be like if Spider-Man just, like, randomly webbed some guy. And Robin killed the dude. Robin killed the dude. Now, I know that some people are like, you know, oh, maybe he just broke his jaw. He looked like he killed that motherfucker. Okay? If he didn't, then that's a hell of a workaround. But Robin is just brutal out the fucking ass. And that's not Robin, man. Robin's the fun one. He's the one who showed Batman to have fun. And uh, I guess that word's just a fucking disease to DC, huh? You can't have fun. You can't. That word fun is terrible. It's a taboo now. It's a taboo. Why have fun? Marvel has fun. Works out for them. But no, don't have fun, okay? I didn't need this to be fluffy. I didn't need this to be the Guardians per se. Man, this is this is darker than Arrow. This shouldn't be darker than Arrow, okay? It shouldn't be this fucking dark, though. It shouldn't. And it's totally wrong. It's totally out of tone. It's just stupid. It's just stupid. And I'm not watching this shit. I'm not watching it. Unless something comes out and that shit's got like a 99% on Rotten Tomatoes or like a bunch of my friends say that it's great, I'm not watching this bullshit. <laughs> Fuck this. Thank you for joining me in the Comic Game Movie Show. Tell me what you thought of that Teen Titans. My, my bad. Titans trailer, because fuck me. Call them Teen Titans. Ooh, we're so edgy. We're calling them Titans with our dark blue logo. Oh, blood all on Robin's face. God, fuck DC, man. Fuck DC. Tell me how you thought of the trailer. 
And I, I'm sorry. If you're wondering why I'm so angry, it's because I love the Teen Titans. I love them, man. I'm a Marvel guy. I love the Teen Titans. And they just fucked it up for me. Fucked it up. So tell me what you thought of the trailer. Comment below. Please remember to like and subscribe. See you on the next episode of Comic Air Movie Show. Goodbye.